It's about uh, quarter to seven, um, and it's time for the BTS vlog. The day start. Well, not getting it started. It's been started for a while. I got up around 4:30. Uh, just doing little odds and ends around here. I'm preparing to go food shopping, so that's going to be sort of an extra little thing here. I'm going to try to film along the way as I go uh, food shopping, so uh, you can follow me there. I do all my food shopping by hiking, so that will be a bit of a uh, another a new option for today, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the, the day is off to a great start. Uh, I've been using the new, um, uh, the new Cyborg Alpha. Uh, the Cyborg Alpha is now, the new one is the Cyborg Alpha Mu. That's, it, Mu stands for mobile. So, uh, I've been using it actually, uh, to keep myself more connected to the internet. And it's easily working out alright. So, uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what the day brings. And I'll see you, uh, along the way as I go food shopping. Alright, make it easy. Well, I'm off to go food shopping. I just left my back door, so I'm walking up the walking up the back of my driveway. This is where my place is here. It's an industrial unit, and I spend a large chunk of my time in my library. Well, I spend 95% of my time in my library, so uh, just about once a week I have to go food shopping. And uh, so this is the road I take. I always walk. Uh, I tried showing my face before on this, like turning the camera around, but what you will see is that it doesn't exactly fit. <laughs> so uh, I think it's better just as it's turned around uh, as a forward facing camera rather than as a backward facing camera. So that's the decision. It's just used as a, as a forward facing camera. And one of the things I like is that. Uh, just about a year ago, they put in these sidewalks. So before I used to have to walk on the street, now I can walk on the sidewalk. So, anyways, uh, as the things become more, as there, we come across interesting, interesting points, uh, I'll turn the video camera on and I will vlog. Here we are on the more scenic part of our walk. I just came from over there. My street is literally across the street, but further to the right. And you see the daylight is kind of fading. And, well, I know I can vlog on the way to shop, going, going food shopping, but I don't know if I can vlog on the way back. That's something that, remain to be, that remains to be seen. And this is, this is one of the more scenic uh, parts of the walk. The only problem is, is that as night falls and you get uh, a darker environment, one, not only can't you film, but uh, in terms of uh, video, doing the, the vlogging, but at the same time, uh, this is where skunks come out. And if you're not careful, well, in addition to the occasional car uh, you, <laughs> you have to watch out for the skunks and for the cars so <laughs> this is what makes this section fun I'm going shopping to a store that's just sort of across the way here but you see uh, what, what will happen is that before you used to be able to cut through here just go straight but now you actually have to go around the street and this will become clear later on and uh, as I show you that uh, where once before you could cut through here to go to that building over there where there's a mall in there uh, now you have to go all the way to the end of the driveway this is IBM's driveway by the way and then back up to here where before it was just simply a matter of cutting through here. But that's sort of been fenced off and uh, it sort of stayed that way. Uh, so no one's sort of cut, cut through here, there's no path. And every once in a while, what you'll see is you'll see a bunch of feral cats. Because cats, uh, the wild cats, do live here and 
maybe in a while once the uh, fall foliage has dropped you'll be able to see some of the uh, cat boxes. Well, I don't know if you can see it here. See, this is too dense there. But there are boxes in here like that that are basically homes for the cats. So interesting little uh, project. I don't know who started it, but uh, it's being done anyways. So this is where I'm walking. Uh, I'm going to go to the end all the way back up and uh, I'll show you where I'm going shopping okay so that's where I'm heading there's a store there and if you see it's just right across the way from uh, the scenic route that's where the fence was but instead of walking instead of walking across the field I had to go all the way down and then come all the way back up again so uh, a little extra on the walk, but in terms of exercise, it's actually not bad in terms of an exercise. Uh, there's a whole mall here. This is an Asian mall. And that's a dollar store. Well, some of them. It's a cash-only department store, and it's pretty cool. They have a lot, of, a lot of stuff there for cheap. So if you're looking for something that's inexpensive and, uh, you know, well, good quality, then this is it. So this will be going in here and I'll talk to you afterwards. Hello, welcome. I had gone into the mall down to the department store here, uh, in, in, into the basement, down the stairs. And I came out here, and as you can see, just in a few minutes, it's gone from light to dark. So it's now dark out, and it's gonna be very difficult to film as I'm walking along. So when I get to my next destination, then I'll turn you guys back on again and uh, say hello, tell you where I am, and a little bit about the place. So now I'm walking out to the road. Got a nice little fountain and garden here. So it's nicely nicely decorated. This is the uh, New Century Plaza. So it's an area that I like a lot. You know, I do a lot of shopping here. Well, basically on a weekly basis is where I come shopping. I always go through here see what's around in that uh, department store see if there's anything cheap you know they've got the squishies in there and you name it have to be careful for the cars here I mean you can't see it but there's, there's a church there and now I'm walking to the food store the next mall TNT well, I've gotten back from about from food shopping at around eight o'clock. It's about uh, quarter past. Well, we got back around eight o'clock. It's uh, uh, quarter to ten right now, nine forty-five. And so I got back, unpacked, had something to eat, uh, and looked over some of my notes to see uh, what's on schedule for today. And I'm gonna be working on some interesting stuff uh, that I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, it's basically where I'm going with the quantum physics lab and uh, the new look I'm taking at with uh, uh, look at one of the hidden libraries I'm looking at right now is, uh, is uh, it, the topic is on Tesla so we'll get into that a little bit more but anyways I forgot to bring my uh, I, I didn't forget to bring my camera I, I brought my camera on the, on the to, uh, food shopping with me so you're gonna see that uh, that's part of this video here and um, what happened though is I had forgotten to bring uh, my um, what did I think if you saying I forgot to bring I had brought it but on the way out of, out of my food store I forgot to uh, vlog so to show you where the food store is so I showed you only half only part of it so you got half the food shopping and the other half, the half I forgot the vlog. <laughs> so we'll see how this works out. And as I 
there's always going to be kinks and things. To, there is always going to be kinks and problems to work out, and bit by bit we'll get everything done. It's not much of an issue. Anyways, I'll talk to you in a bit, uh, probably uh, sometime after midnight, about the whole Tesla thing that I'm working on. Uh, I still got some work to do on the electronics bench, uh, the, sorry, the electronic engineering bench, and uh, I'm going to be filming uh, an episode of Beauty and the Geek in a few minutes. All right, take it easy. See you in a bit. Well, it's coming to the end of another day. It's about six o'clock, six thirty in the uh, quarter past. <clears throat> it's about quarter past six in the morning. Uh, I started at around four thirty. So 4.30 in the evening to 4.30 in the morning, that's uh, 12 hours, 5.30 is uh, 13 hours, and so 6.37, it's going to be about 14 hour, a 14, 15 hour day. So that's uh, uh, my length of studying time, uh, so the length of my average day is about, uh, between uh, 12 and uh, 15 hours, that's uh, what I do. Uh, the interesting thing that comes up, I've been talking about uh, the hidden libraries uh, that I've been sort of looking into. Uh, and the thing is, is that the, the hidden library is not necessarily found uh, in its entirety on a, uh, directly, it's actually found indirectly. And you do so by looking for various diff diff different bits and pieces, and the bits and pieces are all over the place. They're not in one place. They're not in one place, and they can be embedded in places that you would not normally e expect to to find. So, nonetheless, uh, you do have to go through a, a ton of material. And piecing piecing things together is a, a slow process. So one of the main projects that I'm working on. This has to do with the uh, electronics bench, one of the, one of the uh, purposes for the electronics bench uh, is that uh, I'm going to be working on uh, looking, in, looking into the work of uh, Nikola Tesla. Uh, and if anyone uh, knows about Tesla, you know that a large chunk of his work is missing and classified. In other words, uh, of what we know of Nikola Tesla, there's a lot more that we don't know. <clears throat> so, given my understanding of quantum mechanics and quantum physics, and looking back into some of the archives, the research archives, going back to the 1930s and prior to that, uh, it I found through the library that I'm sort of going through this, through this hidden section that it's worth the while to take a second look at Tesla's work. Not through the eyes of simply you know, of history, but through the eyes of quantum mechanics and quantum physics. In other words, going back with the eyes of quantum physics and re-looking, taking a second look at Tesla's work uh, with the understanding of quantum mechanics to see if maybe there's something more there uh, that we just didn't finally understand and and could find could could actually put. Uh, a new spin or new understanding on quantum mechanics on the exploration of the universe in terms of what we've seen, what we haven't seen so far. And so the engineering bench, which is next to me, the electronic engineering bench next to me that I'm working on, the goal for this year is to do uh, meters and measurements. That's uh, developing uh, 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 equipment. Uh, electronic that that will do that that will do the metering and measurements uh, because that's what's going to be needed to do to really do the work in uh, Tesla is that there is going to be have to be done a significant amount of metering because you know, with, with, yeah once we're looking into into Tesla we don't not we're not exactly sh I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for uh, so. <laughs> it, this is how most projects end up working out when you first go into something. You don't really know what you know or what you're looking for. What you do is you try to go in there and see if there's any well, areas or anything that you understand that, that, you, that you can connect back to something you already know. 
And then from there, you start looking for anomalies, different uh, unusual behaviors, particularly in measurement, and you do the, 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 through the measurement as well, uh, to see the to see um, well, the, the okay. here's where the fatigue hits again. What happens is is that you the, your new discoveries are basically in your anomalies. The anomalies are the areas areas that you don't understand, you don't that we don't understand in physics and science, uh, and it opens up a whole new direction in research, uh, and keeps the research going. In other words, it provides the next step, the next year, the, the you know it keeps you going uh, forward in science into this unknown direction of exploration into the unknown, slowly but surely sort of piecing things together and getting as much work as you can get done in a particular period of time. And so, but that's, that's, that's what's going to take going along for the rest of the year now. For this year is that we are going to be do, looking at the quantum physics lab and we're doing the basic part. We're doing the measurements and, uh, and meters. That's the basic, the basic part. And then slowly but surely, we're going to move forward from that. But we also have other projects going on. And you'll see throughout the year, as this new form of B, format of B, uh, BBTRL uh, moves forward, that there are other areas that we're working on. There's a lot of other stuff that's going on here in terms of the research. And we're just going to have to as much fun with it as we can. Anyways, uh, it's been a long, long day. I'm going to see you and say goodnight. Bye.